All right, now to a startling admission from Facebook tied to the release of thousands of Russian-made ads that targeted American voters. NBC's Gotti Schwartz has the details here. Hey, Gotti, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Hoda. Some of these ads were ridiculous and over the top. This one is an anti-Beyonce protest rally. This one right here, Satan, if I win, Clinton wins. But others were such, so much more subtle. This one right here is a Russian-paid ad for Black Lives Matter. This one is a Russian-paid ad for Blue Lives Matter. Again and again, ads playing both sides of an issue and trying to stir up rage and anger among Americans. From straight up racism to memes trying to get Texans to break away from the union, more than 3,000 ads made by Russians seen by over 33 million Facebook and Instagram users. The Russians were aiming to divide Americans from other Americans, exploit issues of race, of religion, of sexual orientation. This morning, the release of thousands of advertisements linked to the Kremlin. Congress revealing that more than $100,000 was spent in ad placement on Facebook and Instagram, sometimes paid in Russian rubles and often geared for specific audiences. Those who like the pages of Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, and the Army of Jesus saw ads like these to rile them up. While those who lived in cities like Baltimore, St. Louis, and Ferguson saw ads for fake Black Lives Matter pages. Some ads using wedge issues for a political bait and switch. Here, the fake page United Muslims of America seeming to support Hillary Clinton, then opposing her. They certainly had a goal of undermining Hillary Clinton and advancing the campaign of Donald Trump, but they also really uh, far more fundamentally wanted to sow seeds of discord in the United States, undermine our very democracy. In February, Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller filed charges against 13 Russian nationals for interfering with the U.S. elections and their work with the Russian troll farm responsible for these ads. Facebook says they've taken steps to stop ads like these, but admit this will never be a solved problem. It may be a far cry from the old posters of the Red October, but experts say the online tactics can be traced back to the early days of the Soviet Union's Department of Agitation and Propaganda where social issues and half-truths were used to rile up indignation, then indifference, then acceptance of a single message. Hey, Gotti, a lot of those ads that you just showed us there, they're, they're pretty inflammatory. Has there been any concern about putting them back out there in the public eye? Yeah, Craig, that's a tough question. Lawmakers on the House Intelligence Committee are saying that even though some of these images are pretty disturbing, it's important for the American public to see these advertisements for what they were, Russian propaganda, so it doesn't happen again. And Facebook is also promising to do a better job showing users what is an ad and who's paying for it. Guys, back to you. I mean, they do that with political message. You know, yeah. I'm so-and-so, I approve this message. Right. It would be interesting to see who paid for, for this, right. you know, if you could. It's got to be more.